What is happening, Magnus Sites? Just got back from seeing Retribution. That's right. I will find you, and I will kill you. So, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, almost mixed that up there, uh, has a new movie. I don't think they promoted it much, but I saw the first trailer, and I really liked it. I totally forgot that it was coming out. Scarlett told me she wanted to go see it the other day, and I was like, wait, what movie are you talking about? And I was like, wait a minute. Is that the one where they threatening to blow his car up and everything? She was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. We got to go see it. So I guess it's National Movie Day or whatever. I don't know what they're calling it. But so we went up to the movie theater, and I'm like, why is it so packed? What's playing today? I don't get it. She said, I think it's a national movie day. So, okay. So, it was a good movie. I gotta say, uh, and it wasn't woke. Um, I know that's what you guys want to know. Uh, you know, Liam is one of these guys, you know, he's up in age, but he's proof that you can be an action star at any age. In this movie, he plays a father. You know, he likes playing the father mode. Father with an edge. But, you know, in this one, he's not like, you know, this top secret black ops kill you with a ballpoint pencil pen. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? And a piece of tape. Mercenary. CIA. Undercover. You know. <laughs> Dark government project. That can get you anywhere on the planet. However, he's Liam Neeson. So you know he's going to show some grit in this movie. He's more of a businessman in this. And unbeknownst to him, he gets sucked into this whole <laughs> extortion type plot, man. And it's like, what is going on? Who is extorting him? Who is killing his friends and his business? But what, what is going on here? You are waiting to find out. And there's suspense in it. You know, suspense, thriller. You're trying to figure it out. It's got some mystery in it. And his kids are in the car, man. It's, you know, it's a nail biter at certain points. But if you know how movies go... Your, your nails, you might not be biting your nails that much, you know. Scarlo was on the edge of her seat. There are certain times things will happen or about to happen. I'd be like, I bet you this is what's going to happen. I bet she's going to go here. And then it would happen, you know. So, but I got to tell you, okay. Great chase scenes. Look like we had some practical effects, real explosions and stuff in the movie. Um, good to great acting from everybody. Directed well, shot well. I liked it. Um, the only thing, the, the bad guy at the end, when you get the reveal, I wish, this guy's a great actor, and I wish they had not asked him to play the bad guy like that. When you find out who it is, you know, he's acting kind of Joker-ish. You know, the extra, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> yeah, that type of shit, like uh, Jason Momoa did, Jason Momoa, Momoa took time getting used to in Fast 10, or Fast X, because it was so over the top, after a you know, half hour, 45 minutes of it, you kind of settle into it, but he took some getting used to, and eventually, you know, I thought he was a good villain, I still think he was over the top. But it's the same thing with this. And it's like, uh, it kind of took me out of it. And I was, I was hoping it would be someone else or something more mysterious. You'll know when you say it because you'll be like, oh yeah, if it'd been more mysterious and you find out it was like something like this person or that type of person. Oh, but it's this person? Oh, come on. It was just... I'm sure a lot of people maybe saw it coming, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to give this three and a half out of five woos if I were 
you that Ryan did play the game bars. Um, and you're a Liam Neeson fan, go see it. I think you should just check it out anyway. I think it's a good time. And I could watch it again. Am I burning to watch it again? No. Am I going to buy it when it comes out? Mm, maybe. Probably not. But it's a good time. It really is. It's a good time. So, excuse me. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. If you enjoyed my movie review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If all you is subscribe today, I'll be at 2 million today. Hurry up. Let's get it. 10 million subscribers. Woo!